All right. Sorry. I'm a bit late. But don't worry. We are ready to begin. Okay. Perfect. Today there, there will be no intro, obviously. Because today... We will finish Warhammer Mark of Chaos Battle March. Indeed. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. How have you been? We've been analyzing this game for five days now. This will be the fifth day of analysis. And today, it's highly probable that we'll be able to finish the... <laughs> final level of the first campaign. Just so you have a general idea, we finished this one, the first chapter, the second chapter, and the third chapter. We also did rough, we finished roughly half of the fourth chapter, so we are probably going to finish the Austin Mark campaign, right? The Empire campaign today. After we do so, um, we'll go back to Scud Race. Uh, instead of beginning this one, then we'll begin this one uh, next week. The Orcs and Goblins campaign with all of its chapters. The same for this third campaign, the Hordes of Chaos. And then we will proceed to do the final analysis for this great real-time tactics game. Alright, so we were more or less... Yes, we were over here. We have cleared um, the Elven section of this level. And now we go back to play with, with Stefan with the Empire. Alright, so we are going to finish. I'm going to do then a preliminary analysis of what I've seen so far regarding graphical quality, the gameplay mechanics, the gameplay mechanics, the the grandeur, as I call it, the impact of the story and the quality of the soundtrack, and the technical state of the game, everything we'll get we'll get to do our analysis a preliminary analysis of course not the final analysis okay so okay okay um as far as i can tell all right i need to move aurelion over here near the talavec master just so you know we are heading to the final battle down here. The Empire is in a tormentous state, but our, we, we've already read this last time. Well, Stefan is en route to, ta to mastering at Talabaheim. He encounters a vanguard of the Chaos Horde led by a diabolical sorcerer of Nargo. All right, we go back to Stefan right at the beginning of the map, and we begin with this level. A chaos, sorcerer, a chaos sorcerer and his warbands have been bolstered by a demons of Nurgle, intent on destroying the settlements around Talvahim. Okay. Uh, brother... Brother Gantha, the wizard... Mm, Alright. Uh, first of all, our hand gunners, right here, they are all upgraded. The Dwarf Hammerers, we lost the Great Swords last time during the Siege, during the final level for for the third chapter. I actually already finished Halbadias this level, but I ended up... Uh, losing I think it was my mortar 
or something like that. I lost my mortar or something like that during this battle last time, uh, yesterday, so yes. Yes, I lost my mortar, exactly. And, well, that's why I wanted to, to, to do this battle. Okay. I wanted to, to do this battle all over again. So, yeah. So far, the game... Ah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, it was pretty tired. Alright, we'll attach Stefan to the Knight's Panther. We'll attach... We'll attach Brother Gunther to the Dwarf Hammerers because they are... They lack experience. As you can see, they are just level 1. I need to... I want to... To fix that. We have learned much from the elves. To try to give them some experience. And we'll attach the mage to these hand gunners. Alright. Alright, slowly but surely. March. As I always mention. The game is working perfectly at, well, now it's 30 FPS apparently, but most of the time it's 60. It can get up to 60 FPS, so don't worry. Hey, this is weird. Oh, well. Whatever. Must be because of this stream. We shall prevail. Maybe it's due to the animations, because this rain is clearly 60 FPS. It could be that the... It could be that the animations are locked at 30, but the gameplay is clearly 60. Yeah, the animations. It's the animations. Right, go grab some experience. There we go. The mortar will take care of them. Pay attention to the insane amount of detail. I know it's extremely difficult to see, but here, for example, you can see the twin headed eagle. Right, come over here, please. I know, right, but those are axe throwers. No, we'll do this. And we'll do this. There we go. Yes, last time they also tried to... They also tried to... To flank us. Strength of Sigmar. Damn. Wait, we need experience. Right, stop attacking over there. Engage. Come on, I need you to level up. Well, almost level two. That's that's some progress. Cavalry. Quickly, we'll use Bullet Fire, uh, if we can. Get rid of them, Bullet Fire. Retreat. Retreat, retreat, because I remember that stupid cannon right there is the one responsible for us losing a lot of troops. All right. So, first we'll kill those plague bearers. Ah, you're in range, perfect. Let me see the range, perfect, just... Let them come to us. I will move these guys over here. Weekly formation. 
You two will stay over there. You will remain here. I need to ensure I'm I'm out of range of those cannons. I'm going to use cavalry. Hand of Sigmar. 30% chance to inflict more damage. They need experience. Those guys will will provide it. Let's use a fireball. No, they can they can beat them. Awesome. Let's see, let's see if you got some experience. Good. Ah! Flying demons. Rip. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Now's our chance. Destroy the, that hell cannon. It will only be able to fire once. And it failed. Missed. You are as good as dead. Alright. Take posi- what? They fired or what? No, they are all perfectly fine. Come on, cavalry, come back. Come back, come back, come back. Indeed. Uh, let's detach. Let's detach this guy here. Stefan, grab that. <laughs> Come on, you need the experience, trust me. Attack those. Are those axe throwers? No, more others. Those are melee. Ball of fire. There we go. Good. We are making progress here. Follow those guys. Alright, and then this guy, just in case they flank us. Slowly, march slowly. There we go. Pay, I, I've been paying attention to the insane amount of attention to, to detail. I, I'm all, I've been always mentioning this, this is what I was about to say before we engaged in battle. Look at the road, for example, and the... Well, the grass has a bit of physics, but it's way too... Hey, the grass has physics. I've been saying that it has no physics. Yes, it's moving. There is kind of like sw a bit of swaying grass, but it's almost uh, nothing. Here you can see a farm. See the different terrains all perfectly blended that the game has to offer. It's it's incredible. Uh, I assume we have to... Let's just investigate there. I don't think that's where we need to go, but well. Hmm. I think they are right there. No, come back, come back, come back. Attack that thing. Quickly run. Triple Bolifier. Dead. Excellent. Alright. 
Marshal the strike Empire you down. Will not fall without a fight. <laughs> no better than a pile of gold. Time for a duel. This is another gameplay mechanic that I've been bracing for. It's pretty well implemented, if you ask me. This guy is level 25. Alright, Brother Ganthar sh should be able to take care of him pretty easily. Alright, we go for offensive tactics. There you have the description. Target a friendly unit. Heal it. Heal yourself, Brother Gantha. Ah, more of them. They got reinforcements, I guess. Alright, time to regroup. Time to regroup. Can I revive some of the Dwarf Hammers? Can I use the Undying Servant? Resurrect when there's an idea, but a power power. Your hero has died? Who? Ah, they must have attacked. Ah, yeah, I forgot about my mage. My bad. Triple Bullet Fire. Get rid of them. Oh damn, a duel. Damn. Alright, we've got another duel there. Level 30. There we go. Oh, careful, this one is... This one is more powerful. Pay attention to orders. No battle has ever fought in vain, for all life is merely death postponed. Mighty Sigma looks upon us all. Increase the chance here to attack with uh, one damage, hit reduction, chance to block. There we go, some healing. Ah, right, that guy must have... There we go, stun. Okay, he was kind of like... <clears throat> he was trying to kind of like... Silence me. That's why I couldn't use my abilities. Level 2. Alright. Indeed. So, we just lost the mage. That's 1,000 gold. <laughs> oh well. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I left my mage behind. <laughs> Forget about him. Oh well, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. The important thing is you don't lose your 7500 gold. The important thing is you don't... That you should uh, take into account is not losing... You should care about not losing your, your troops because you lose the money. And the experience those troops uh, had. The largest... Army of men and elves uh, since er, seen ever seen since the great war against chaos is gathering to the west. To the south lie the ruins of Karlstad, destroyed by a horde of demons summoned by cultists over two centuries ago. Scouts have reported that the ruins have become a site of worship for more of chaos follower followers. So right here. The forwarded one. Duel. Alright, we are doing that. Alright, we are taking a different path with the elves. I we went kind of like like this. Dark Citadel, Crossroad. 
destroy the green manas. All right. We need to arrive over there, but well. Mm. I can make camp. Yeah, it's. There we go. Four replacements. Four replacements. Four replacements. Good level two. These guys are pretty good. We just lost one knight there. There we go. And these are all level three. Except for the flagellants, of course. Okay, we are ready to go. And we still have plenty of gold. 24 south and 741. Perhaps I should have unmounted Stefan, but well, doesn't matter. I think he has the same abilities. Mounted. Doesn't matter if he's mounted or unmounted. Lure, lure, lure to the ruins of Karlstad by the Taint of Chaos. A champion of Nurgle seeks to make a grand offering to his pestilent god. Uh, let's unmount him. Level 35, level 31. Let me check. Level 5 armored. No wealth. Uh, Stefan has a lot of, of armor and, and talents. Alright. Uh, increases HP by one per level. Pain threshold is far superior. Yeah, he's pretty resistant. Let's go with Stefan. Though I believe at the end of the day, Brother Gunther is the is the best. <laughs> he's the most powerful hero unit. But well, the champions of Nurgle are inured to pain and misery by the Lord of Plagues and revel in their own decrepitude and filth. This is something I've been commenting. Uh, this game is from a Hungarian studio from Hungary. The slayer of Otto Gruber. I am blessed indeed. The Lord of Decay will be most pleased with your death. You it's time to duel. Hey, Stefan changed his armor. What I've been commenting is that games back then, you know, I'm an English professor, I teach English to a lot of people, and it's incredible how wide the range for the vocabulary in these games is when compared to modern games. Modern games kind of like use simplistic language when compared to to all of the adjectives, to all of the nouns they use here. And they weren't even native English speakers, so... Alright. As you can see, the game has a lot of objective variety, just in case you are joining us right now. We have, we've had duels, sieges, everything. Scored missions, we had a scored mission. Uh, we also... We also had... One one mission in which we had to explore a cement, um, a yeah, a graveyard. Exclusively with our hero units. So yeah, we've had pretty much everything. The game 
has a lot of objective variety. It has a lot of um, sorry. There we go. There we go. Sorry. It has a lot of objective variety. It has a lot of it's a like master. There we go. A lot of objective variety, a lot of faction variety, a lot of RPG elements, uh, excellent real-time tactics, mechanics, the dual mechanic. Uh, it has pretty much everything. seen since it left the Empire's borders. Prince Kalanos is dead. His body lost, his army defeated by the terror that now marches across your lands. I have dreamt of his dragon torn to a bloodiness, and of the prince fallen beneath a monstrous blade. All that remains of our host is now gathered here. Perhaps if I had joined the prince, perhaps... We can lament later. For now there is an army of chaos that must be faced. We must decide where we think the blow will land. Our scouts have reported them heading south towards Talabaya. We will know more in the morning. Take what supplies can be spared and rest until sunrise. We march at dawn. Rex Marshal, we thought that you might have fallen in battle. It is good that you are here. With your men, we might yet save Talabaya. That will not be possible. Where is Stefan? I must speak with both of you. What is the matter, Rex Marshal? The night is not yet so dark that there will be no coming of the light. Maybe. But the night shall still be long indeed. Ah, Von Kessel. Reichs Marshal? I am happy to see you. I'm afraid that won't last. I have to take some of your soldiers, some of yours too, Aurelian, if you can spare them. We cannot hope to defend Talabayam with just the soldiers we have here, Reichs Marshal. But defend it you must. Another army from the north is approaching the River Linz, and even now closes on the town of Beckharthen. I must take an army there to defend against this second attack. Talabayam is not defenseless. Count Feuerbach of Talabekland is there with all the remains of his army. I ask that you march to him with all haste while I oppose the host to the east. It seems that we have no other choice. We cannot fight on two fronts with a single army. Though it might be said that the men of the Empire were not there when the elves called upon them, the same shall not be true of my folk. <laughs> I will send my yeah. commanders to you to discuss your needs. Uh, forces have, gather, have been gathered from east, th south, and west and are prepared to defend Talabaheim against the Chaos Hordes. Reich's Marshal Trinkenhof has orders from the Emperor that Talbaheim must be held at any cost. Remember the guy with the Pampos ho uh, ha uh, horse, right? All right, what do we have here? Pistolias. All right, the the unit variety for the game. Um, it's not that much. If this is, we are at the end of the campaign. But yeah, it has enough unit variety. It's it's not perfect, but it's not bad either. These great swords, I tried to train them, and they proved to be pretty, pretty squishy. So, yeah. Mm. Okay, uh, first of all. First of all, let's mount Stefan. Uh, strength of will, interrupt the enemy spell, blah 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 Okay, whatever. What do I need to do? For, first of all, um, just as I've been commenting, all of these uh, encampments, this is not the first encampment we... Uh, we stumble upon, no, the descriptions for all of them, they are different. They are absolutely different. We've been in a lot of these throughout our campaigns. 
and they are all different. Both the name here, this one is Shrine of Sigmar the Defender, and it has a different description. Let's resurrect the wizard. Thank you. Um, and let's... No, not the alchemist. War banner. Yes, I should buy that. Mm -mm -mm. Where is it? Where is it? Here. Uh, you already have the standard bearer, so you can have a magic banner. Perfect. Mm, morale regeneration. It's not that important. No more available, just as I thought. So, all of our melee units have... Have a war banner. A magic banner, I mean. Um, alchemist? Uh, I could have sworn there was a war banner here, but well. War banner. Um, ah, but we have two. Can I send that one to these guys? No. Wait. Wait. Here. Give it to these guys. Alright. Maybe first I need to remove this one. Alright, perfect. War banner, war banner. Well, this is even better. That one is even better. <laughs> okay. Good, good, good. You have no war banner, so... Stefan, give them the war banner. Alright, all of our melee regiments have a magic war banner. That is minus 20% to morale loss. Cloak of warding to shooting resistance. Brother Gunther, yeah, I haven't <laughs> equipped my my heroes with any kind of. <laughs> oh, chance to hit. Ten percent attack speed. This one is thirty percent attack speed. Ah, but this one is plus twenty five percent chance to hit. Thirty percent chance to hit. Twenty percent attack speed. Mm. Well, if you increase attack speed, you are pretty much increasing your chance to hit because you, you are attacking uh, faster, much faster. So let's change that. Roll of power. Stamina, the hero becomes invisible for tw 20 seconds, cannot be used in a duel. How about you? That you are so, so, so squishy. Mm -mm -mm. Take that over there. What's that? Standard of iron. 40% stamina. Uh, let's give it to the Flagellants. No. No, we, could, we can... There's something. Banner of Sigismund. Unit is unbreakable. Can only be equipped to Empire units. Empire Sigismund, the hero of the Siege of Elven, and the banner. It survived the siege and was not touched by the. Okay, the standard barriers required to keep this magic banner. Alright, so unit is unbreakable, so they won't run. Okay, but. but okay. Ah, wait. This is a shield. And this guy had no shield. Uh, he doesn't have any rings as well. Do we have any rings? Any extra rings? Shooting damage resistant here are unbreakable. Alright, now, Brother Gunther engages in, in melee conflicts a lot. The wearer gets plus 10 HP while he wears this amulet. One armor, one magic resistance. Mm. No, it's better to have one armor. Definitely. And this one? What about this one? 
plus 10% to all spells, magic resistance. No, this is, that's pretty good. And how about you, Stefan? What's your amulet? Color of warding. Plus 10% melee damage resistance. No, that's a kind of like permanent, permanent banners. Mm, decisions, decisions. This is another sword. One damage ignores armor. Rune fang. Oh. Ignores armor. Pretty dope. Uh, there's one more ring, look at that. The hero's cooldowns end immediately. Can only be equipped... Alright, we, we'll use it on... We'll, we'll buy it for Brother Gantha. Refills your units, blah, 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 blah. Restores full HP to the hero. Cannot be used in a duel. Uh, let's buy some potions, I guess. We've got plenty of money. Stefan, how about this one? Major healing potion. All right, that one is better. Minion power stone, power to the power pool, 200 to the power pool. Plus one to the max HP of the hero. I assume that's permanent. Increases the attack speed of the hero and the attached regiment. Amulet of Shalia. Amulet of Shalia, that's good because that, that's kind of like... Area of effect healing. Sigil of Sigmar plus energy to a hero. And its unit. Oh wait, didn't this guy have to the hero and his and its unit. Okay. And his unit. In this case, well. It's a pretty classic English, the one they, they, they are using here. It's totally correct, but it's it's pretty classic. I love it. Um, because technically, hero is, is it, instead of his. Mm. Oh, well. Silver War Wand, uh, area damage to the melee attacker models. What? Area that Silver Wand. Silver Wand. Area damage to the melee attacker models. To the melee attackers. Sounds good enough. We'll take it. Sounds pretty, pretty good. Alright, we... I think we're good to go. Here. Well, here. Uh, let's ensure we have everything. The flag lands, I think I'll sell them. They are not... I don't know if they... These, I, we got this unit when we... Rescued Brother Gantha. But... Well, as unique as it may seem, its stats are not as good as a properly trained susceptibility. Susceptibility. They are not as good as the... It cannot hurt to have them. Uh, these great swords, as epic as their description might have been, uh, no, they are not that. They are not that good. We'll just add these two. Whoa! Our mortar is almost level three. Good. Mm.
what to do, what to do here. Okay, let's increase our damage. Go for that. And in your in your case, we'll do this and we'll do this. Alright, you will also have third level armor. Here we go. Just in case I fail and you end up engaging in melee. Alright, I'll train one more regiment of hand gunners. They are they are simply the best. Okay. I think we're done here. Save game. Wait. What, Aurelion now? Move Aurelion. Right, deal. This army cannot move right now. What? There we go. Come on, our army is extremely puny here. Our Elven army. Bring these guys. I think I didn't even upgrade some of them. More archers, of course. Sword Masters of Hoeth, of course. We have no cavalry here. Okay. And another siege unit. We definitely need that one. Armory, please. Let's 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 upgrade these guys because I think I never upgraded them. Here we go. That's why I had so many issues. That's why I had so many issues. Well playing with the elves. There we go. Oh, I almost forgot about upgrading the artillery. Here. There we go. Let's see if you can avoid dying for a change. There we go. The accuracy upgrade, I guess. Okay. Much, much better. Mm, okay. Stefan. Let me see something. Now, nah, yeah, I have the accuracy upgrade for those, but do I have it for the mortar? No. And you deserve it. Ah, I also have the. They also have the the armor upgrade here. Awesome. Okay, Aurelion. Let's see, let's see. Armor upgrade for the artillery as well. They all have that. And as for the rest, more available. Okay. Some extra strong units for the archers. So they deal. The maximum amount of damage. Okay. I think we have enough troops to beat pretty much anything. We can beat pretty much anything. It's over right. And we are ready for the final battle. Dalavahim outskirts. Let's go. As the great crater wall of Talvahim rises above the horizon, the army quickens its pace, eager to seek the sanctuary of the city. Even as they near their destination, the skies darken, flickering with strange colors, a natural lightning and rapidly moving, moving storm clouds. As the howling winds fall, demonic voices and a palpable aura of fear seeps through the army as these dire portents. Portents. 
Uh, do I have to move both of them at the same time or what? No, I have to move Stefan. Okay, this is it. This is the final mission for the campaign, the final battle. This is it. Of gods and demons, the battle of the battle for Talbahain. Here we go. The greatest battle of the war is about to begin. The defenses of Talbahain are strong, but if the city is to stand against the coming onslaught, every man and elf must fight to do his best. To their best, because there are two subjects. Defiant in the face of near impossible odds. This stage is set to decide the fate of the Empire, and perhaps the world. Okay. Oh! Ah, they are right here. Okay, so... <laughs> Okay, uh, do I have to spend any points here? Yes, it's the final battle, so there's no point in, in holding back against ranged attacks. Blah, 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 blah. Morale, no. Magic resistance, whatever. Uh, chance to hit, I guess that's important. It's always important. Mm. Strength of will here. Mm. Call of the chain, movement speed, I guess. Four points for Brother Gunther. Oh. Sigmar's shield. Mm. Number, ah, here, yeah, the Undying Servant. Let's reduce the cost. The cost. With that, he can revive uh, units attached to the regiment he's attached to. Chance to hit while charging. Okay. Sigmar's shield, I guess. New? How about you? What about you, Master of Action? Alright, let's increase the fireball. That was pretty pretty good. Okay. Brother Ganthar comes with us and the Elven Commander as well. Okay. Hmm. I can bring Elves. First of all, we'll bring Ar Alcantar with us. That eagle is pretty powerful. Swordsman. Swordsman. Well, we can bring Spearman and Halbadia, or Halbadias, let's see. Mm. I think for some reason the Elven Halbadias are. have. More attack, but but they don't have the magic banner. Could we give it to them? No, no, they don't have any magic banners. Mm. That could be a problem. All right, the artillery, it's it's easy. The cannon. This one. This one. We may need this thing to give us vision of the of the enemy. We'll use it as kind of like a like a scapegoat. Okay, as for the rest, uh level two now. The source masters of Howeth Level 3. They are pretty, pretty powerful. Hmm. Champion. Well, we don't have champion there, but it doesn't matter. Knight's Panther. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I, I don't have a lot of... I won't use a lot of cavalry in a siege, I guess. Hmm. 
The Dwarf Hammers are not level 3, but they are pretty, pretty good. I know, let's... Let's bring the White Lions, even though they are level 2, they are... No, but we only have 15 units of this. No, no, no. No, let's go for for the... For the Halberdiers, because maybe they have a lot of demons. Mm, okay. And, of course, a lot of hand gunners. Ah, but we're in trouble. Mm-mm-mm-mm. This would be a problem. Stefan, you will fight Mount Hill. Mm. I wanted to bring... Yeah, well, I can bring my three regiments of hand gunners, but I cannot bring the archers. Mm. Uh. Just one regiment of halberdiers will 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 we need the archers? Uh. Maybe we don't need Alcantar. No, yeah, we need him. He, he's pretty good. Mm. I wanted to bring at least two regiments of, of archers with me. I wanted to bring... No, but we have three regiments of hand gunners. Uh, okay, well, Alcantar will will be critical because he will grant vision to our artillery. Mm. And this siege tower as well. Uh, they all have war banners, right? Except for you, of course. Um, could you give... Your magic banner to the sword, sword masters of Hoeth? No. Uh, we have we have a war banner here. Unity is unbreakable. How about this? Standard of iron? No, looks like I cannot give them that. I cannot give them the war banner. Mm. I wanted to bring even more archers, but I will. Because we'll have four and four. Mm. Well, whatever. We'll just use these four regiments. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I need at least one cavalry regiment. Okay. Sorry, sorry, it took me a lot of time to decide. Troops manning defenses have a strong position and can fight against a great number of foes. However, a defense that remains too static can be surrounded and overrun. Always consider your line of retreat. 
Right, I need to be careful because we are going up against a demon prince and we also have we'll have a countdown. We'll have a countdown. So here we have to destroy the fortress before the timer runs out. So yeah. What? I know, wait, we are defending the fortress? You have to be kidding me. Ah, we are defending the fortress. Great swords, El archers, spearmen. What's the meaning of this? What? Pay attention to see the attention to detail. Hey, there's even. The sky, they, they created a different sky, a different textures for the sky, for... what the... So we're defending this? Then why did, why am I using a siege tower? I feel tempted to, to restart, but well, I think we can, we can do this without doing this. Alright. Wisdom alone does not win wars. Yeah. I see no clearer path. For Magnus and the Empire! Okay. They could attack us here, but well, I don't think they'll they'll make it. Um interesting. Uh my army composition would have been pretty pretty different. Where are the the sword masters of Hoeth? Stefan, the Night Panthers, and Brother Gunther attached to the sword. Uh, yeah, these will be useless. My bad, I'll try to, to fight like this. Let's go. Should we fail, there will be no history to record our defeat. This is where we make our stand and prove the worth of the men of the Empire. Fight to the death and fight for Sigma! For uh, 7,000 years we have fought against the Dark Gods. It will not be here on this distant field that our strength finally fails. Here we will triumph and you shall all be remembered alongside the greatest warriors of our Destroy the darkness! Uh, looks like these guys can't get out of the fortress. Ready for firing. Pretty interesting. Pray to Sigma. All the way from now, this beauty. The power been spoken. Let's see. I'll just try to bring my artillery. If I can no, I can't get out of you're telling me I cannot get out of here. We wait for your signal. The allies of the This is pretty pretty. This is getting more and more interesting by the minute. I I could place troops outside of this. Okay, we'll try something. Chaos must be resisted at every turn. All right, we are in range. All the way from now, this beauty. Uh, place Get the mortar right the there. Crush the foe. Put your backs into it. The foe have been spotted. All right, more or less we're in range once they get over there. No 
All right, I, I thought we we were going to to attack them. Sigma, grant us victory. The been spotted. March on. Let Sigma guide us. Remember your training. Assuming new positions now, my lord. All right, get up there. I honestly thought we were going to attack a fortress instead of defending the allies of the one. Set. Remember your training. Assuming new positions now, my lord. The foe there is nothing spotted. more to be done here. So I cannot get out of this place. I cannot get out of the fortress. Let's see. No, looks like I cannot. I guess the the saying that old saying of we could be doing a lot of damage with our artillery here, but well. That old saying of, of Warhammer, an open mind is like a, board, a fortress with its bars, with, with its um, doors open and unguarded or unbarred or something like that. Uh, it's very, very true here. They take it pretty seriously. And I cannot get outside of the fortress. An open mind is like a fortress with its gates open and an unguarded or something like that. Uh, I think we should restart. I think we should restart because let's restart at least let's let's just try to place the artillery outside. I wasn't expecting this. So we have to wait until they destroy the fortress. So you can't get out of your fortress? That's pretty stupid. Let's see. Keep your powder dry. Here? Awesome. Uh all of you. Except for you, you you shouldn't be here at all, by the way. All of you, outside. Outside, please. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. This is pretty easy, but... Unless they send, I don't know, something really, really crazy. But yeah. This should be pretty easy. This should be pretty easy. Here we go. Here we go. Ranged attackers. Ranged units. Right over there. Mm. Here we go. There we go. I'll leave these guys here. We'll just leave one last regiment of swordsmen there. You will just remain over here. This is pretty much it. I, I think we have enough troops to deal with anything. Okay. You will remain here. All of these units will grant us vision. And fight for Sigma! For 7, years we have Let's see. Perfect. We are perfectly in range. And we'll just... We just need to... to 
Can you shut up? We just need to guard the artillery. And I'll leave my cavalry right here, just in case they bring some... Just in case they bring some kind of... Uh, of artillery, our cavalry will take care of them. You. Come on. Come on, before they reach our allies. What are you doing? What are you doing? What? Ah, you are out of range. Doesn't matter. Okay, if you are out of range, remain there. You will stay here, just in case they try to flank us. If they somehow appear from this position, but I don't think so. Right here. Not that should be more than enough. Come on, they are in range now. Right? Oh, wait. Why are you not attacking? This should be enough, even if I... Even if I, uh, technically, was expecting a different <laughs> objective. Quickly, before they attack them. There we go. Now stop. Those ones. Blast them. There we go. Nice shot. Nice shot, boys. Excellent. Good. Good. Decimate them, come on. Good. The mind of Sigma on your signal that we unleash hell. Those ones. Get rid of them. The allies of the Empire beset. There we go. Stop. Stop. They are engaging immediately. We'll cause damage to our own units. Oh! Artillery! Now we're talking. They brought they brought their own ar artillery. There we go. Stop. Stop. Let them come. They'll be in range soon enough. Good. So this is the perfect position for the mortar. This is the difference in range. So we can target them with our three artillery units at once. There we go. I know. Get rid of that hell cannon. Now. It's range. Sucks. So. All on that hell cannon. Decimate that hell cannon. Come on. What are you doing? What are you doing? 
You should be right here. What's my unit doing there? There we go. Let the cannons do their job. I must have selected it. Don't chase them. They're as good as dead. What a perfect range. Excellent. Hey, what happens if I... If I do this. Quality from Nom. Get those wheels rolling. Keep your powder dry. The foe have been spotted. Match is lit and burning. Hmm. Let's see, let's see what we have here. Axe throwers. So they, these will engage. Put the match to it. These will engage earlier. The allies of the Empire are beset. Besides here, we have kind of like <clears throat> more troops. Awesome. Change, change your target there. Change your target. We need to bring down that demon. Take him down. Take down that demon. No, we'll. See, that's why I wanted to kill that demon. See how they, they survive. And they have that pesky ranged attack. Alright. Let's split cannons. Destroy those, attack those warriors of corn, and the mortar stay on that demon. Awesome. Really? Are they? Oh! Do we have archers here? Yes, we have archers, but we need to protect them. Damn, I didn't, I didn't bring any archers. Damn, my cannon. Please help me a bit here. I'm protecting you. The allies of the Empire beset. Just protect my cannons while I protect you. The might of Sigma Fury of the no, you get rid of this. Go, go. Damn. One more round and we retreat. Get ready for melee combat. Come on, you. Get out of there. Will be of much more use. All right, we have our cannons. We'll begin to fire here. We have this. Cannons, come back. Time to regroup. Stay, stay. Right here. We will fight right here, where we have a lot of archers. Where we have a lot of archers, and they can provide us with cover.
Time to bombard them. Oh no. They have artillery. Let's get rid of, of that thing. Think so. Good, we are in range. Stupid, stupid archers. Go back up there, brother Gunther. Get rid of them. Halberdiers, attack that cavalry unit. Double ball of fire on that cavalry. All right, we've destroyed the the cannon. Mortar loaded and ready, my lord. My blade is deaf to all who oppose me. My strength is wanted elsewhere. <clears throat> all right. Remember your training. Mm. Our struggle is eternal. Mm. Foe have been spotted. The might of Sigma is all the way from Good. This beauty. What are those? <clears throat> Blood letters. What's that? What are those? Awesome. One more round. They're way too close. Alright, this is it. Kill those blood letters. Awesome hit. Come on, there's nothing they can do. No, that will expose our flank. Remain over here. Flank him. Oh, we have a lot of duels here. Let's go for a duel. Where's Stefan? There you are. Exalted horde of the sorcerer, whatever. Blood will be spilled. No Regroup. Regroup, let the artillery take care of them. With lance and shield. The might of Sigmar is crushed the honor Sigmar of the Empire after dust. Mm -hmm. Offensive tactics. There we go. It's no use. Indeed, and that will destroy their morale. Let's go, Stefan. Can you guys get inside? Well, at least I have. Oh. Artillery, come on. <laughs> get rid of those axe throwers. <clears throat> so, could the halberdiers get inside or what? No, they couldn't. Steel in our arms and fire in our blood. 
Stefan, where are you? All right, you're right, right over there. <laughs> Any other attacks you may want to? Ah. Finish them off, please. <coughs> See, even when you don't properly uh, organize your, even when you don't pick the correct. Troops, because you think it will be a, because you think it will be a, a siege instead of defending. The empire will not fall without a fight. The fortress. You can easily win when you properly organize your troops. No, duel. There will be no duel. There will be just a slaughtering. Oh, look at that. The the terrible demon prince. He got killed pretty, pretty fast. That was your, you are victorious. See, even and I was not using the the correct army composition. After hours of bitter fighting with hundreds dead and dying, Talbanheim is still stand now leaderless. The chaos force is broken. Blah blah blah. They are all dead. <laughs> Reichs Marshal. I survived the great war against chaos. This was no worse. I bring word from the Emperor. Magnus sends his congratulations on a great victory. Worthy of a count of the Empire were his words, I believe. I did what any man. A count of the Empire, you say? Yes, Stefan, a count. The Emperor has recognized your claim to the throne of Ostermark, and none of the other electors have objected. You are to travel to Nuln as soon as matters here are resolved for your formal elevation. <laughs> a finely won victory, Count von Kessel. I told you there was no evil in your heart. It is just a scar and nothing more. There is no mark of chaos upon you. We are learned in many ways of healing. Our kin can remove that for you. No, I shall keep it. As you say, it is just a scar. One of many I now have. Nothing more. All right, beautifully done. All right, and here you have the credits, but we are not done yet because this was just the first campaign of Warhammer Mark of Chaos Battle March. We have two more campaigns to go. And we will finish them before proceeding to the final analysis for the game. I want to explore everything the game has to offer. Uh, but so far, incredible. So far, as a preliminary analysis, as a premature analysis. Of course, this is not the final analysis, but the game has everything. It has a lot of objective variety. Excellent real-time tactics, gameplay mechanics, uh, the dual mechanic between the characters, the fact that you need to use different um, skill trees, that you have to use a different skill tree for the duels, and a different skill tree for the command of your troops. The game was a bit easy, in my opinion. <clears throat> It was a bit easy 
for my taste, but um, I've seen uh, much, much uh, easier, I think. So, <coughs> yes, it's not, um, it's lacking that component of difficulty of, for example, Company of Heroes 1. I remember Company of Heroes 1. Uh, it could easily take you a whole day to finish one mission because of how bloody difficult they they are, the first company of heroes. So yes, I would say that's the only flaw I've encountered. The lack of, of difficulty this game has, because you could see it even if... Even when I picked the wrong units, because I picked the wrong units, I picked the Siege Tower, thinking this was going to be a Siege. Uh, even like that, with a prop, with proper positioning on the battlefield and, and strategy, I won first try, pretty much. So, yes, the game is lacking difficulty, which makes this game a great option for those of you who are newcomers to the real-time tactics genre. Uh, so, yeah, it has a lot of objective variety besides, it has a lot of uh, unit variety, it has a lot of gameplay variety, there are a lot of different situations. So yes, I would say that's the strongest point of this game. It's a real-time tactics game which would normally be repetitive. Think about Total War games, which has a, an insane amount of objective variety. And the game is pretty pleasant and uh, it's kind of like... Yeah, it's easy to play but because of how much objective variety the ga this game has. It's it's pretty easy to get to the end and finish the game. Uh, I highly suggest this game for newcomers to the real-time tactics genre. Uh, for example, if you've never played a Total War game, you could play this one first. It will give you more or less an idea and it won't be as brutal as a Total War game on the hardest difficulty, right? Well, even though they are not that difficult. At the end of the day, the Total War games, even on Legendary difficulty, but they are much harder than than this one, than Warhammer, Mark of Chaos. All right, all right. So next time, as for the rest, the technical presentation it's 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 been impeccable. Those 30 FPS there, you can see that the game is able to play at 60 FPS. The only problem is that the unit animations must be, this is a deduction, but I, I, I've seen a lot of cases like this. The unit animations are hard coded at 60 FPS, at 30 FPS instead of 60, while the camera panning movements are at 60 FPS. So we have this weird situation we've seen in a lot of games released in this bracket of years, in which we have 30 FPS animations for the units and 60 FPS for the camera panning movements, the rain, and a lot of other animations. But so far, the game played perfectly fine. Um, even though the units are hard coded at 30, the game clearly plays at 60. There you can see it, but of course, during the battles, it will be 30. I'll try to pay more attention to that next uh, during the next campaign. So far we've analyzed mostly, I, I have a pretty good idea of the gameplay mechanics, of the graphical presentation, of the technical quality of the game, of the RPG DNA the game has. It has a lot of RPG elements, a lot of... I wouldn't say light RPG elements anymore, because with a full skill tree, with with a fully fledged skill tree, pretty complex for a real-time tactics game, I would say it has 
not heavy, but it has RPG elements, not just light RPG elements. So yes, it's also great, as I've said, the, the things that I that impressed me the most are the quality of the terrain and the sky for the battlefield. Uh, it's incredible how they blend, especially the water with the with the terrain, the water with the with the sand, for example, during the first uh, mission of the of chapter two of chapter number two. Um, yes, the terrain, how how perfectly blended the terrain, the different textures for the terrain are. They managed to blend, they managed to mix a lot of different textures for the terrain, and that's that's pretty, pretty impressive. Uh, we just discovered that the grass has some physics applied to it, but um, they are pretty, pretty basic. Pretty, pretty basic. They don't have swaying grass, for example. I remember in Dungeons & Dragons, Dragon Shard, as well as uh, War of the Ring, the Lord of the Rings, War of the Ring. I remember those two. They had that incredible, those incredible physics with the with the grass around the character. It was it, it was incredible. Then then I got the explanation on why they it was so so good. Uh, but yeah yeah, it, this one doesn't have those incredible physics. The for example, I don't know if you've noticed, but the trees they don't move. Uh, at all, so yeah, they don't have a lot of physics, the, the terrain, but it's incredible the the insane amount of textures it has. Uh, for example, you can have a road mixed with some grass and dirt and snow, and and it's pretty and it, and it ends up being extremely natural to the eye, to the human eye. So yes, they were pretty clever when designing the terrain, the textures for the terrain as well as the sky. I like that they didn't recycle, right? They recycled a bit of, a bit. Just some talents for the skill tree, but for the most part, all of the, all of these, um, all of the skill trees for the heroes they were all different, if you remember correctly. They were all totally different, totally different. As I've said, maybe there's one recycled talent, two recycled talents, but no more than that. So that's that's absolutely impressive that they specifically designed a different three skill trees per hero, and all of them different between each other. All of them absolutely different between each other how they balanced the game. I think they made the game way too easy, even on hard mode. Maybe they they got some feedback from Armies of Exigo, which was much, much harder. Uh, that, that game is brutal. And yes, when I analyzed Armies of Exigo, I always said uh, I hadn't finished all of the campaigns. That was my bad. I ended up awarding the game after finishing the three campaigns, uh, I ended up awarding Armies of Exigo or a, a perfect score, pretty much. 9.5 out of 10. Uh, I was just pissed by the fact that I couldn't play the game at 1440p and 1080p. The technical aspect for the game wasn't perfect, but as for the rest, Armies of Exigo was. Black Hole Entertainment's Opus Magnus. So yeah, and this and this is their second game, their second. In this case, this is an RTT. They changed the genre, but well, play both of them: Armies of Exigo and this one, Warhammer: Mark of Chaos. Both created, developed by the Hungarian camper, company Black Hole Entertainment. They are masters of the genre, just like Liquid Entertainment, just like. Uh, the creators of the Cossacks series, the GSC game world, and um, yeah, 
I highly suggest you play all of these games because they are made with a lot of love and by companies who are, or sorry, which are, which have a lot of talent. They have a, a, a lot of talent. Okay, so, so far, as for the analysis of this one, you more or less get the idea for the gameplay. If you like Total War games, I highly suggest you play this one. If you like the Armies of Exigo, I suggest you play this one. If you are a newcomer to the RTT genre, I highly suggest you play this one before playing Company of Heroes and Suffering. Even though Company of Heroes is a squad base and this is kind of like grand strategy. So yeah. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. So yes. As for the length, we'll see. We'll see. Once we get to the final analysis, I by the time we get to the final analysis, I will have played all of the three campaigns, the three campaigns, so I'll more or less be able to tell you if the length for the game is good enough. All right. So, great. Great, great. So, we'll get to play Scoot Race. We'll now play Scoot Race, and then we will return with the second campaign for Warhammer Mark of Chaos Battle March to, um, on Monday. We'll return on Monday with the Orcs and Goblins campaign. Now we need to beat that level of Scoot Race once and for all. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it's been my pleasure sharing this preemptive analysis and this finale for the first campaign for the Ostenmar of Ostermark campaign of Warhammer Mark of Chaos Battle March. Alright, we've finished the four chapters, we've analyzed the gameplay, the gameplay is pretty well done, the, the, the combat between units is pretty original, the dual mechanic, I like, I love the chance to hit uh, stat which adds that Dungeons and Dragons uh, component of randomness of of ensuring your your hits your blows land so yeah it's it's a different take on real time tactics uh, on the combat for real time tactics games so. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been my pleasure. See you all on Monday if you're just interested in this. But we'll continue with the with Scoot Race. We'll continue with Scoot Race because we need to beat that final uh, that final race, right? So we'll stop. We'll finish. We'll finish the. All right, perfect. All right. All right. It's been my pleasure. Um, see you all once we uh, see you all on Monday, in, and we'll begin with the orcs uh, and goblins campaign. Now we'll get to play school race. All right. It's been my pleasure. See you all on Monday.